the 2023 Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship would get its campaign underway at the wonderful Misano World Circuit, Marco Simoncelli. The fantastic weather that we were getting on the Sunday especially, and the great vibe of the bustling paddock was what the drivers all needed to have a great time. Norbert Kish led us away at the start of the first race, but had a catastrophic electrics failure, which meant that he was out of the lead. Steffi Halm also having a dramatic failure during the race as well, put her on the sidelines, but all of this drama meant that it could be Jochen Hahn at the front of the field and he would get the campaign underway in the best possible fashion, especially on a weekend where Iveco and Team Hahn Racing would unveil the amazing e-truck that they have ready to be racing in the next couple of years. Race 2 brought a lot of very adverse weather with it as well. The rain certainly came down before this one and drivers would have a tough time, unless you were Norbert Kish, who drove through from the back of the grid to win the race by more than 18 seconds. Into the night, though, the rain held off, luckily, and we had a wonderful convoy of all sights and sounds from trucks all over Europe, and it was a great, great spectacle for the eyes and ears. When it came to Sunday, though, the sun was certainly shining. Fans got to meet the drivers and get their autographs in this wonderful, wonderful paddock that we have here in the Goodyear FIA European Truck Racing Championship, and everyone was ready to do battle in race three. Norbert Kish and Sasha Lenz were on the front row of the grid, the two sparring partners looking for a good old scrap. Louis Requenko was unfortunately out of the race, and while we enjoyed a lot of fantastic battles in the midfield, Norbert Kish streaked away at the front to take a fantastic two on the bounce. Between the races, we had the fantastic Krona e-trailer on the circuit. With its electric rear axle, it helps draw the emissions down from the truck at the front, and of course provides a lot of power and push from the back as well. It's a great, great piece of equipment. The final exciting race of the weekend was of course the reverse grid race in race four. Loads of battles up and down the order, eventually leading to Antonio Albertetti taking his first win of the season in great style. And we look forward to seeing it all happen again at Slovakia in a few weeks time.